Okay, welcome. This is part one of uh, my PHP file upload tutorial. Uh, now, this is, for the most part, a request uh, by Mr. Frenchy1 because he has been having some problems with uh, a file upload script he got off of some website. And he's been, I've uh, been trying to help him out, but it's not really working. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to code this out yourself. So, uh, I pretty much have a blank index file here. Well, mostly blank. I just have a title in here. So, just playing a title. So, uh, in this video, in this uh, tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to, uh, uh, we're going to make a form, and it's going to get the file, and we're going to upload it to our directory, which I have open right here. And, uh, yeah, <coughs> sorry, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a form, a uh, variable, and uh, if you've seen some of my videos before, I like to use a variable to store my forms, uh, because it just helps me out a lot in the end, so we're going to give it an action of index.php, uh, because this is going to be a self-submitting form, so uh, we're also going to give it a method of post, so we're going to get that, and uh, what you might not have seen before is this one, which is enc type. That's E N C type. Uh, it is one word. Now, uh, inside of here, we have uh, multi part forward slash form dash data. Uh, now, you most likely haven't seen this before. Uh, at least to the best of my knowledge, you really only need this when you're uh, going to be uploading a file or you'd be using the uh, file type, uh, which we will be using. So I'm just going to come over here and end the form. There we go. So, uh, I'm just going to create a table. It's going to be a very small table. I'm just going to end the table as well. So, we could create a row and end the row. Create a column and end the column. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this. So, uh, the first one, we're going to say, uh, actually, it's going to be two columns. In here, we're going to have uh, input type equals file. Now, you must have your input type as file uh, because uh, that is the uh, type we're going to be using. And I'll explain that a little bit later. Uh, so, we're also going to give it a name of... I'm going to call it my file for, ooh, for lack of a better name. <clears throat> so I'm just going to copy and paste this. We're going to change the type to submit. The name as submit button. And we're going to give it a value of submit. Uh, so far, it's really been a bit of an HTML tutorial, uh, but we'll get to some PHP in a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to throw in an echo to display the form for now. So, dollar sign form. So, I'm going to refresh the page, and you see we now have a submit button and a little text box and a browse button next to it. Now, you can click the browse button, and it opens up a file browse <coughs> uh, right here. And you can see I have an image right here, which I'm going to be using, which is uh, basicnick.png. Uh, now, currently, this is my uh, YouTube logo or avatar. Um, you can also click on the text box to uh, select a file. Uh, so if I click submit, it just sends us back to our index page because we haven't done anything yet. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a simple if statement and our if statement is going to check to see if our button has actually been uh, pushed or clicked. So we're going to say dollar sign underscore post and some brackets. Uh, these are normal brackets not curly brackets, and then inside of here I'm going to put single quotes. You can use double quotes if you would like, but it's a bit of a personal preference, I guess. Uh, so the in here, the name is submit button. Uh, now our name is right there, submit button. So it's the name of your uh, actual submit button that we've already created, which in my case is submit button. So making all kinds of mistakes here, sorry. Wow. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we're also going to throw in an else. Now, 
uh, I'm just going to backspace this and indent. So uh, what we're doing here is we're putting in an if statement. So our if statement is going to check to make sure that the, the submit button has been clicked. Uh, and if it has, we're going to run this block of code. But if it has not, it's simply just going to display our form. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the file name. So we're going to say name equals. Now, uh, you might be thinking, oh, let's use the post. No, it's not post, it's files. We're going to be using the files method. Uh, now, the files method takes two parameters. <coughs> Sorry. The files method takes two parameters. Uh, the first parameter is the name of the uh, browse box thing here which in this case, in my case, is my file. So you want to type my file, or whatever yours is called. Now the second one is uh, established the exact same way, uh, so you got your, another set of brackets and single quotes. Now in here, I'm going to put name, uh, because there are, I believe, probably seven or so uh, different types you can get. There's name, there's type, there is size, uh, oops, size. There is TMP underscore name, uh, TMP underscore name. There is error, uh, and there's there's a couple, uh, but really we're only going to need these ones. So I'm going to change the name of these accordingly. Size, type. So. What we're doing is we're getting the name of the file that has been selected. We're getting the type, the size, and the TMP name, which um, TMP name, actually, what I'll do is I will echo all of these out. So echo, uh, so I'm going to say echo, dollar sign, name, and then I'm going to throw in a break or a line break, which is uh, HTML code, the type, another break, the uh, size, another break, and you guys can't see that, sorry, and then the TMP name. So if I select the file, my basic nick.png file, and click submit, you see uh, in the order we have it, so we have name, type, size, TMP name. <coughs> and you see the name is basic nick.png, which is the name of the file. Now the type is an image, and it's a PNG image. So, and the size, uh, the size goes by bytes, which if you don't know, a byte is four bits. There are a thousand bytes and a kilobyte, uh, and just so on and so forth. Uh, increasingly getting larger to mega, uh, giga, tera, peta. So, this goes by bytes, single bytes. So, the image is, uh, my image is 4.22 uh, kilobytes, so that is approximately... The, the image size and the temporary name or the TMP name uh, is simply just what is stored on the server which we will be using that file to uh, upload it to our directory uh, uh, that you wish to upload it to so all is good um, so I'm gonna stop this video here in the next video we will uh, we will echo out or not echo out we will actually move the file and uh, I'll, show you, I'll also show you how to rename the file, which is, is a little bit cool. So uh, check out part two.